Hello everyone, my name is Heather Autumn and welcome to my channel. wish you a happy new year because for me recording this it's just happened uh, but you're watching this a week in so I want to say instead I guess I hope that your goals are going well I hope that so far the year has started off well for you so I wasn't sure what to record for this episode last year I kind of made this dream board and I was like oh these are my goals and it was a lot of fun and it was fun to show the process of the dream board but it wasn't one of my most viewed videos and it was also kind kind of just I liked it but I didn't feel really passionate about it and actually after a week it fell off my wall and I put it in a closet and forgot about it <laughs> so that's how that went <laughs> so while I was thinking about what to record I actually had one of my friends on Instagram reach out um, I had just posted a bento box that I had made and she's an amazing person I'm linking her shop below I like to collect crystals and I like their colors and their properties and just I like how unique they look they're like little sculptures in a way and so I get all of my crystals from her. Uh, they're all ethically sourced, which I again also love. And so she commented on a post that I put on Instagram and it was a bento box that I had made. And she was like, this is delicious. I would love to see more episodes about that. And I was thinking about how I could do that, especially with the new year and new diets happening. And I was just sort of like, it's hard because there's so many components to a bento box. But I figured I'd give you guys a look and see it what I have and what I use to make mine. And of course, I'm gonna link all the books that I bring up in the descriptions below. I'm also going to um, link some of the shops where I get my supplies from. Some of it is like stuff you can find on Amazon, but there's other unique shops where I go and I really do focus on like getting my bento boxes there and stuff like that. So I've done bento episodes in the past. Um, I will link a few in the descriptions below. Everything's gonna be linked in the descriptions below. A bento box is similar to this. It's a box and it has all kinds of different foods like multiple different foods it's usually done really pretty and you can bring it to work and it's sort of like this little treat that you have for your lunch so for this I'm really trying to incorporate it into my life as a form of not only just eating better and eating healthier but as a form of self-care in general so with that I'm gonna show you actually what I have planned and how I do my bento boxes and what resources I use Okay, so before we get into the logistics of bentos and all that you can do with it and the accessories and why the different sizes and which size should you choose, I'm gonna just show you some great books to start off with if you've never done bentos before but you're interested. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm gonna show you a bento book that if you are just starting off, this is the one I would recommend and that is Effortless Bento. Uh, it has full pictures in it it's really cool it also has these recipes and one thing I really love is that it includes the caloric count of each item so again if you're looking to start off effortless bento is the way to go and I found this on Amazon I think it was like 20 something dollars uh, which wasn't too bad but anyway that would be one I would definitely recommend um the other three that I'm gonna mention are okay books oh uh, this one is ultimate bento and it's okay again lots of full colored recipes um, things like that. Lots of really nice stuff. I haven't used it a lot. It doesn't come with caloric counts and some of the recipes look like they're more geared for kids, which you actually will find a lot of. The next two books I uh, wanna mention is these Just Bentos 1 and 2. Again, both pretty good books. My complaint with this one is that they, they do have colored pictures. Calorie counts are kind of hard to find, but they do have a variety of different fun kind of bento box ideas. This is a little bit more kids-ish, or this is a bit more adult, so there's a variety. The next one uh, is Real Bento from a Japanese Working Mother, which I appreciate. And again, this is pretty good. It has all kinds of different pictures. This is actually a book I use quite often as well. It doesn't have any caloric counts in it and again if you find a book and it doesn't and you are like me watching your calories then what I would suggest is just taking those recipes and plugging them into something like my fitness pal which can keep track of what you put into it and it, it's helpful and then I just go back and I write in like oh this is 53 calories or that's uh, you know 270 and then I plan accordingly and the last three are actually Christmas gifts I got myself I haven't really had time to look through them properly but I did want to bring them up because they do look 
look really interesting. So the first one is Easy Bento, 365 Days of Traditional Japanese Lunch Boxes. And I like this book in that I do believe it is more traditional than what I've been seeing. The thing I don't like about it is that the pictures are in black and white. Not a bad book uh, as far as I can tell. I've been looking through it. There's definitely some recipes in there I want to try, um, but it's just not the most visually appealing. The next is 10 Minute Bento. Very fun looking. This actually does have color pictures. Um, they suggest things like using fried eggs, but don't put a fried egg in. Use quail eggs, which are these really tiny ones so that they fit in a bento. But they have a whole variety of just different kinds of food here. Lastly, which is a book I am starting to really like, this is Quick and Easy Bento Box, over 60 simple recipes for 30 lunchbox meals, uh, under 500 calories. So they've gone and done the work. So what I love about this book is that they will give you a bento. Here's the picture of it. Here's the name of it. And then they'll go and also tell you the caloric count. So this is 409 calories for that. And then on the next page, they show you how to make every piece of that bento so that you can recreate it at home. So that breakdown of showing you a picture of what it is, giving you the caloric count, and then telling you what you need to do to put that exact same bento together is something I just love. Okay, so those are the books that I would recommend or maybe not recommend depending on your cooking style. Let's talk about bentos. So you can see that there's a massive difference between my bento here, which is my no face one from Spirited Away, and then this one. They're two different sizes. And so I wanna talk a little bit about that and how I'm using that to track my calories. For this one, this is more of like a child size one. It's a two tier. It has a lid that comes off just like that. And then you have your first tier and then you have your seal that usually has your you know, utensils, and then that comes off into your other area. Now I do believe that this holds 250 milliliters, and the rule of thumb is that the number of milliliters it holds is equal to the amount of calories it can hold. Now as a white American, I can tell you from experience, I can make that number explode with calories. <laughs> I know how to pack a bento so that you will have the most calories, but I am trying to use it to lose weight. So this one is the one I'm currently using. This is about 540 calories. It is a one tier, has a lid, and then it has the seal, and then it has the compartment. So remember how I said that I could go and definitely pack this out with calories. One way you can do that is by making half of it or even like the bottom portion all rice because rice is pretty high calorically. So one thing I've been doing to help with that is I've been dividing my bento into thirds. So I'm gonna show you my lunch and talk a little bit about that. Okay, so here's my bento for the day. Just like that. So you have chopsticks, so then you have the seal, and then under that, is my lunch. So I have a salad. This right here is the dressing. And this little bottle. Oh, there we go. Uh, that is some tamago yaki. This here is the Korean beef and of course rice. And the whole thing together is around 500 calories, which matches the size of the bento. So a third of it is going to be a salad, which is gonna give me my vegetables and kind of fill up part of that. And then the other part of it, I'm going to fill with my rice. And then I have this middle part to work with for my proteins. But I wanna talk about preparation so that you can go and put these together on the run. Uh, now, traditionally in Japan, uh, people wake up extra early to put their bento boxes together before they go to work. I don't have that time. I, I value my morning. So I have learned how to freeze some of these things. For instance, this, I don't know if you can see it. This is rice. Uh, I made it and I froze it. And then I take this, it's already pre-measured. So I know that this is a half cup of rice and it's hundred calories. And then the mornings, I just pop it over into my microwave for a minute with a moist uh, paper towel on top and it's ready to go. I let it cool off a little and then I mold it into 
this bottom part of the bento. The next thing I've made and frozen is what you call tamago yaki, or it's a rolled omelet. It's scrambled egg that you make with uh, like dashi stock, sugar, and soy sauce. And then using this like rectangular pan, you kind of roll it. And I also put some seaweed in mine just for some extra texture. This is how it looks. It's, a, it's frozen. <laughs> But it comes out in this like a long cylindrical thing. So I cut it up and then I spread those little cut up pieces out and I freeze them. So in the mornings, I can just take a frozen piece and put it in the bento. Now, something to know about bentos is that they're actually kind of designed with the idea that you may not have a fridge available or a microwave. So packing things frozen and then they will thaw throughout the day and be ready for you to eat at lunch. So for my lunch this week, the main protein is this which you can kind of see they're already frozen in these little uh cupcake you know these silicone cupcake things but this is korean spicy beef and again i just take one of those little cupcakes pop it in there take my you know little rolled omelet pop it in there and it's all just quick assembly um so the only thing that really isn't frozen is my veggies so i hope that on a very quick note that explains what i'm doing for my lunches this week So when I showed you my lunch, I showed you that it was wrapped up in a cloth and that is called furoshiki. Um, so over there, you won't necessarily have a lunch box. So they make these decorative cloths and you can wrap your bento in that. So this is the year of the rabbit. So I have this one, which I love, it has these little rabbits with their little offering. And then for fall, I have this one. And again, like, do they serve any purpose, really? Not really. It's just to look pretty and to celebrate your lunch. And then this is another one I have. Here's another one that I have. So clearly, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy the aesthetic of uh, making sure my food looks really pretty. I love pairing these. Look how pretty that is. I don't know, maybe it's me, but that's part of the fun. Like, it's all these things that play a part in me staying and committing to a good diet. Next up are fun accessories on how to either create your food or to keep it clean and separated from other foods. And so I guess first thing to bring up is the silicone cupcake things that I have. I like them because they can handle being in the freezer, they can handle keeping your food separate, and they come in all these cool colors. So the Korean beef actually has a sauce with it. And when it freezes, I don't want that sauce going all over my other items, and I also don't want it cross-contaminating. So that's another reason I will use this instead of just spooning it right into the bento. It can also become a health hazard. You should always keep your sauces separate or in some sort of container separated from your other foods because they can really mess you up later. Other thing I have are things like this. This is something that you actually can put your um, hard boiled egg in and you close it and then the hard boiled egg will take the shape of the mold. It's completely useless but it makes me happy and it's fun. I have it in a bear. This is a heart one and of course usually I use chopsticks to eat my food but but if I ever didn't want to, there's these fun little utensils, just tiny enough to put in your bento. Speaking of keeping your sauces separate, this is another fun thing. Um, I have these little containers like this, and of course I showed you my bottle one, but I also got this little gem heart one. And again, it's all about personalizing. I have a fish one. Like, it's so fun. It's all about having fun and creating something that makes you smile in the middle of your day. And then there's also the toothpicks. These are my favorite. They're gems. They have like little hearts and butterflies and stuff. And again, it's just about opening up my bento and smiling and having a lot of fun. So I hope you kind of like that. This is definitely one of my big hobbies that I just enjoy that's really just personal. It's just for myself. And I found that actually it's kind of a comfort thing. It's, it's like me parenting myself. And uh, so if you're looking to to kind of have more fun with your diet. Maybe you're not looking to lose weight. Maybe you're just trying to practice self-love. This would be something that is fun, it's nutritional, and uh, I can't say enough about it. I love it. So I hope you liked that. Again, check out the description below because I'm gonna have all of the stuff, like where you can buy your bentos, where you can get the furoshikis, what kind of cookbooks I got. All of this will be in the description below. Huge shout out to Terry Marie, uh, who suggested that I talk maybe a little bit 
about bentos and uh, definitely check her shop out which is in the description as well. I hope that you learned something fun about me that's a little behind the scenes that I don't really talk about with a lot of people. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you do and if you want to help my channel out be sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell. It lets YouTube know that my videos are being watched and it exposes them to more people and I will see you next week where I'm going to show you how to make gyoza. I'm going to make a pork gyoza and I'm going to make a shrimp gyoza for this year's Chinese New Year which is year of the bunny or rabbit whichever I like bunny better but anyway I hope you enjoyed this I'll see you then bye